So, tell me how your new Rode mic works. It is Tuesday of week 29, and people, the painters have shown up. Our house is gonna get color and trim and pretty and just beautiful. This is one of those days I've been waiting for. Remember how we just eeny, meeny, miny mode our colors? No, no we didn't. We actually chose our colors, yes. Gray, the house will be a beautiful gray. Really stately, on the hill, yes. Yes it will. Sheet rockers are also here. They are actually inside the house doing the texturing. That's their machine. See, isn't that cute? Let's go in and see what they're doing. Oh, ah. Good morning. What? <laughs> doing? doing great, how about you? That was not what I expected to see. It's not real. <laughs> right? <laughs> I found a bug today. Oh, you found that guy. Oh, Ooh, another person on stilts. Oh, no. It's Tuesday. This is so awesome. <laughs> Did it dry out well enough for you? Like this. Yes. I like yes. this. It dried out so nice. Perfect, easy to sand. Awesome. It's a beautiful job because once the job was dry really good, everything goes well. It'll make your life easier? Well, it's going to make everybody's life easier, I think, because the, the coat's gone properly, the paint goes on properly, the house has a chance to dry out. It doesn't feel in shape. I like that. I like that. After we get done spraying, during the day, I'm gonna open up all of the windows and doors so that ventilation, so the, so the moisture escapes. Okay. About five o'clock, six o'clock. You wanna close the windows that much. To like that. Right that much right there. Okay. And you'll turn on two heaters upstairs. Okay. And two heaters downstairs to 65. 65. Yep. You do not wanna close it up. It's no. gonna condensate. And okay. the drywall is actually going to absorb more moisture than you want it to. We don't want to do that. Nope. nope. For the night, you leave it like that. Okay. It'll look like you're wasting your, but all the steam will go away. Okay. The following day, Thursday, if it's a nice day, you do that again with the windows. Okay. Providing that they're not masked off or, you know, it, 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 interfering with the painters. Okay. As the nice weather we have here, you want to run that fan? Keep the ventilation circulating. Okay. Just like the drywall compound, it was yellow when we put it on first, uh -huh. kind of dampish. Now you can see it's white all mm -hmm. everywhere. Same thing with the texture. Once you walk in here, you'll see it in certain spots turn white, certain spots will still be grayish. After about 24 hours, you'll walk in here, you'll start to see it all turn solid white. About 48 hours, it should be all solid white. 48 hours, it should yep. be all, all solid, solid white. white. When you look at it, you won't see a lot of grays. Then you can go ahead Close and just the run it like normal. Okay. 60 and degrees. And keep the window still slightly open? I, I would, you wouldn't have to do it. You could just do a couple at that point. Okay. At that point, you just leave. After 48 hours, just leave just a couple of windows open for that purpose. Okay. Thank you. And if you want to, that garage door with the plastic. Uh -huh. Leave that slightly open, that'll help out a lot. Okay. Thank you, Nick. You gotcha. Appreciate you. Thank you, you guys. You're welcome. So there, we've heard it. We heard exactly what we need to do um, to get the house dried out so the painters can do their painting on the interior there.
Remember that video? I think it was week two. I'm gonna insert it here. You hate painting. I didn't when say I was gonna an... do it. I just said, supposing I broke a leg. I they wanna say... know that the guy is coming in who's gonna be able to paint. You so haven't painted to... anything. I have. But it was finger paints and again in kindergarten <gasps> and we're not talking about all that now. <laughs> so, this is one day's worth of painting. This is amazing because while I could paint, it's not actually my favorite thing to do. And this, these people are amazing. Why did we go this this color of gray? It's actually called software and I love it. It's just subdued, calming, comforting. And there you go. That's it. That's it. Perfect timing. is about to get textured. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Thanks, Highline. Just a little bit too much to take in. Yeah, Roger, this is one of those moments. Thank you guys. Every one of you. Thank you. And Nick, excellent job, Nick. Excellent. Wow. Wow. Did you see that? Wow. Did you see the color on the walls? First coat of trim. Thank you. Real pleasure working here. It was a pleasure having you do our house. Absolutely. I really, I really appreciate it. Yep. I'll just sneak off. Without saying goodbye? I was just joking, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, thank you, because that would be sad. I want it to be official. Nick, thank you for texturing, sheetrocking, 
drywalling, all the, all the terms. Thank you very much from the bottom of our heart. We are very honored that you were in and you left your mark on our home. We absolutely love it. You're welcome. Thank it's you. been a pleasure working with you guys. You guys have been really good customers, really easy working people, very understanding. If you have any, ever have any questions, talk to Andy. He talks to me. I'll take care of it. You got it. Thank you. See you later. If you guys are lucky enough to get him working on your one of your homes, you are darn well lucky. I'm just gonna say that right now because he does amazing work and his family, that it's a family run business and uh, it's just awesome. It is just awesome work. Painters are still here. We still have painting going on. They are going to be finishing up the exterior today. That is just awesome. Like I could not have painted the exterior of this house in two days. I couldn't have done that, which is why my husband and I decided we would hire out for it. The exterior of the house is done. We are working on garden beds. And I'm still weeding. Just to let you know, I'm still weeding. There you go. It is Thursday of week 29. See the house? See the house, house, house? Yeah, it's really, everybody says it's blue. I guess in the photos it looks blue, but it's actually a, um, a gray with a blue a blue gray and it's called software in the shadows it looks blue but in the sun it looks gray it's a really interesting paint color the doors are an egret black and the um trim is a cream so exterior painters finished last night very very happy with their work totally worth 100 percent of every penny that we we are paying them they're going to be back Monday of week 30 to do the primering of the inside and the um, painting of the ceilings because those are all sprayed, but the walls are rolled. Um, so they'll be back for their week of painting in the middle of March after trim and everything gets put on. Um, it's very interesting. You know, I learned a lot about painting and I totally would have painted this the wrong way had I been left to do it myself. So Nick last night when he left gave me some very specific instructions of what he wanted me to do. And Nick, I have done those. Yeah, I have not touched the walls. I turned off the heaters and I have been um, very careful when I walk in. In fact, Mags, our dog, is not allowed in the house. And last night when my husband came home, I didn't allow him in the house. Uh, I told him you could go if you want, but you cannot touch anything. He just chose not to go in because he knows me. Oh. That right there, that's just gorgeous. That morning sun that is coming through, um, that's just beautiful. So this area right here is a little um, planter and that is what we are going to get edgers um, edging material for. Andy's here. It's our Thursday weekly visit. Yes. Okay, I have I have to tell you, Nick gave me rules on what to do in there. Did he? Yes, he did. Yeah. We're talking fan placement here. <laughs> it's been 29 weeks since we signed the contract. Not since the foundation poured. No. Oh, that's good. Foundation was poured week 17. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it has only been, what, 12 weeks? No. I think we're 82 days into the build. 82 days. From the day that the foundation was poured. And drywall is officially finished. Drywall is officially done. Next week is a big week. It's when your break time's over, you get to start cleaning again. Uh, we've got garage doors being installed. Uh, cabinets coming in, doors and trim are getting delivered, 
Uh, cabinets are actually going to get installed late next week. Uh, so next week is a big week. Big week. And my painters come on Monday. So Monday is our painters, which are going to prime and paint the ceiling. Yeah. Um, and then I'm looking for cabinets. I'm looking forward to that. He'll either be here Thursday or Friday to do the install. Um, my break is over and now it is my turn to start cleaning again. I'm not, I really liked my break. Can I hire a maid? Can I hire a maid? <laughs> You're more than welcome. Do you have maids for hire? That we would do be not really have good. maids for hire. So week 30 is going to be exciting. Week 30 is going to be really exciting because <laughs> I have forgotten what counters, what, what the cabinets I chose. I've like forgotten that. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't all be white. You'll get to see some material in here. So. And I'll actually get to see where the cabinets start and end. Yes. That's cool. There he goes, driving away. We have finished week 29. Week 30, he says, is going to be the exciting week because that's when we get to start doing cabinets. And I actually get to see what I chose because I, I, it was 29 weeks ago. I have forgotten. Wait a second. I know I chose dark cherry, but what do they look like? Kind of forgot. I think... Oh. Friday we backfilled. We backfilled out the back patio so that we could get the steps installed. And we're leveling it out and installing the gravel and we were able to cap it off. So underneath here is the water shutoff and it's specifically, we wanted it right there. It's just at the edge. The stairs will go off here and then we'll have planters that all go around here. Be a big gravel area when it's done. gonna be a big gravel patio we still technically have this big mound of dirt this is good dirt that's good dirt right right here and this is bad dirt Dusty so dirt. yeah it's just full of rocks and clay so that Saturday we started building one of the walls that mm -hmm. we need to build and we got two and a half pallets um, of wall built and dug. Mm -hmm. And your dad. Got muscles. Go ahead, show, show, the, show, show the people out there in, in YouTube land your guns. They don't, ahead, they go, don't go. need to Look see at those my guns. guns on her. They Look don't. at them, they're huge. Okay. I try very well to hide them under my shirts. <sighs> Rocky, you got nothing on her. And then your dad came by and dropped off one of the stairs yeah, he, for he the garage some. side garage door. So these are actually the steps that his dad built. He built this one and he, went, and he built that one. Those are going to be the permanent ones. They're not attached yet. They will be um, that go up into the house. Now we still have to make sure they pass code, don't we? Welcome to week 29. Whew, busy week. Yeah, it was a busy week, and you actually helped me quite a bit this week. Got lucky, I guess. You got lucky. <laughs> oh, I got lucky. I got massively lucky. So what has been going on in week 29? Well, I've been told to stay the heck out of the building most of the week. <laughs> you were told to stay the heck out of the building most of the week. Things are flying way too fast for me to even keep track of. Yeah, we would definitely forget something if we didn't look. Yeah, so we So there have, is a little bit of a script this time. <laughs> there there is a little bit of a script. We have my script and, and then we, have we have the Andy's script, which is the calendar, the calendar. which is multi-paged. Monday was a holiday, it was President's Day, and Nick and his crew um, were not here for sheetrocking. We signed the contract for the painters. Loved the, the detailed information of what his role was and my role was in the contract. It was so a pretty good contract. It was, it was like one of the best ones. Spelled everything out. Yeah. Tuesday, the painters were literally here that morning. The painters here on the outside of the building, Nick was inside doing the texturing. And Wednesday, they came back and they textured the whole, the ceilings, the walls, and everything. It is definitely an art form. It is an, an amazing job. I, wow. Artists. Thanks, Nick. That, Thank you, Nick. And it's awesome. The painters, the, the paint job, oh my goodness. I could not have done that. Now, we hired painters. Because if I did it, it would look like a kindergarten did it. When we had Andy visit, 
he was talking about what was going to happen in week 30. Mm -hmm. So you literally came home about five minutes after Andy had driven out of the driveway. Yeah, I know. I was looking for him. You were looking for him. He was looking for you, Andy. You're mm -hmm. lucky you went south. We went to Home Depot. We picked up some bricks. We picked up edging bricks so that we could build a planter. We also got, oh, the non-shrink grout. Yeah, we had, you know, the biggest problem there was just choosing a color. Right, it was. And it's it not really even for was. tile. No. It's to go and fill the pipe holes that go into the foundation. We did spray foam for the water line, but Andy recommended that we do for the other two holes there, he recommended um, the no shrink grout. Yes. So we're trying both. We're, we're just gonna try I both. I wanted to go with like a neon blue or a blaze orange, but she said no. Antique white. Antique white. We're antique people. Because that's not gonna stand out in a gray foundation. It's gonna be covered with two feet of dirt. Well, there you go. Is this where I get to go over Andy's list? Yes. Oh, okay, we'll start again on Monday. This is where Victor's gonna come back and he's gonna prime the entire inside of the house mm -hmm. and paint the ceiling. Yep. And you'll have to ask her for the color of the paint because I just know it- Crushed looked... ice. Well, there you go. I just knew it looked kind of white. What? We got six pallets of bricks. We, we did. We did. Retaining wall bricks, and we've been doing that a little bit too. So Paul from Rosenberg's delivered six pallets. It's the first delivery of many. Yeah. Well, no, not really. It's not the it's first this first this, this year. brick season. Brick season. Because right now, I I calculated out we have fifty six pallets of bricks. Fifty six pallets in of... this property already, and I imagine we'll probably take it to at least a hundred before we're done. Probably not. Don't listen. Don't listen. She always says no. But then guess what happens? Then, on Monday, maybe we might get the wood delivery for... That's right! Yeah! Tuesday, it's a cleaning party. Of one. A cleaning party of one. Yeah, and it says the garage doors. Tuesday. But before we do that, we have to go and pull appliances. Yes, so Tuesday night, we have to pull our... because. Because we have to decommission our house in order to get resi our cottage in order to get residency for here. Don't get me started on that. Don't. Okay. We have to pull the microwave and the um, anything that could heat food has to come out of the cottage. The cabinets will be delivered yes! on Wednesday. We get, I, and then in addition to that, uh, the finish trim and door materials will be dropped on Wednesday. And it looks like finished trim will be installed maybe on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And imagine this. And Andy comes on Thursday. Andy comes on Thursday. And this kind of stuff will probably carry over Thursday into Friday or something. I don't know. There'll be somebody doing something here those days because it never, never sleeps around here. Now that you're in the process, give me a tip or a trick or something that, um, that you, you're learning through this whole thing. <laughs> uh, a tip or a trick. Yeah. A recommendation? I would say if you have the ability, go with a professional painter. Yes. Unless you're a professional painter. Because now we have the outside painted, we can actually install um, exterior fixtures that were going up and we can actually install house numbers. You're supposed to have those on your house at a certain point in time. Mm -hmm. And we can start landscaping the outside around everything. Um, what else did he say that we could do? Build so, the deck. Yeah, and now that the now that it's painted, we have the my father-in-law, his dad, is coming in to build our deck. He's going to build the front porch for us, and he's doing the stairs. So the exterior, the gutters will be scheduled to be installed. All the time. Um, Goodbye, thanks. lovely fans. <laughs> Goodbye, lovely fans. Like, subscribe, smash that notification bell if you want to be notified of any additional videos coming up. Other than that, I think we're just about done. I have a few more things to show them, but... Are you showing off our lovely planter? We dug. We dug. We threw dirt. Threw dirt. And she, she, did the, she didn't let me do the bricks. I'm not a detail man. So those holes there are what we need to fill in with the non-shrinking grout.
send it to my husband. Oh, Jiminy's. I'm going to sneeze, aren't I? Oh, yes. <coughs> <coughs> Jiminy Christmas. If there's not a screen on, you better open and close that door quickly, young lady. Our kids will know what we mean. Week 29. Oh, I need my book. Oh, week 29. Yes, we'll turn it to February. Oh, this is March? Yeah, that's March. We're a bit ahead of the game, I guess. So, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's actually a very small flake. That's a small flake. That's my job, hammer. And carry bricks. That's my job. That's your job? And dig, I dig. You, you're the... I dig trench.